Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So this is what we will be creating today. We will just be importing or retargeting dynamically, essentially, uh, the animations so that you can change your character to whatever you want to have in the game of Lyra and everything will work smoothly like this. Welcome to this episode in which we explore Lyra in a slightly different way. In this episode we will be just showing how easy it is to change the character in Lyra to a different one that you have. So the very first thing is we're going to be going to the Epic Launcher and we're going to be getting a character. So we can go to the Marketplace and in the Marketplace we have a permanently free collection. And here we have an Unreal Engine 4 character available to us. This one over here, stylized character. So we'll just add this to our project, um, our Lyra project in this case, and I'll see you in there. We're back in the project with our character. So we're just going to be going into that folder. So casual over here, we're going to mannequin, character, and mesh. We're just going to be renaming the skeleton to suffix with, suffix with imported, just so I can personally see that which one it is essentially. So I'm making it easier for myself. Uh, after that, we can go to our folder that's called Characters and Cosmetics. That's where we store all of the characters that are being used in the game. So from here, we can just duplicate Manny. So we have another character here, and we can call it Be Imported or something like that. <coughs> and the reason we do this is, of course, because we don't want to do a destructive change and just overwrite the characters. That would be silly to do. So we have our imported character here now instead. So inside of this one, we'll just go to our mesh component and we'll change our skeletal mesh here from SKM Manny to whatever our character is, which for example is the mesh PC03. In addition to that, we also want to set an animation blueprint class. And typing in APB, we get all the animation blueprints and we can see that there is one available called UE4 Mannequin Retarget. Clicking that one, compiling and saving, and going into the animation blueprint, we are almost done now. Uh, inside of the animation blueprint, we have a very simple pose here that's being gotten from a retarget pose from Mesh, which is using an IK retarget asset. So this animation blueprint is essentially retargeting an animation for us uh, that is being used in uh, the project for Lyra. So closing that out, <clears throat> we can now go back to our character again. We can open up its skeletal mesh and inside of its skeletal mesh, we can go to its skeleton. And here we have a tab called Asset Details. In case you don't have it, you can find it under Asset Details here on the window. Inside here, we just choose a skeleton that we say that our skeleton is compatible with. So ours is the one that's called Imported. And we see that there's one called uh, from Characters Hero here and one that's called Characters Hero Mannequin UE4. So this is a UE4 mannequin, the one that's belonging to the animation blueprint that we chose. Saving it like so, we now have completed the retargeting. We don't actually need to do a retarget, but everything is already done when it comes to the animations now. The next part is <clears throat> that we have created this character now. If we go to browse where we made it, we have a, a character that we created in a non-destructive way, not replacing anything existing, but we still want to make sure that it is actually being spawned in the game. And how do we do that? Well, we can go to our reference viewer here for Beep Manny. We can see that there is a pick random character blueprint that's being called to determine which characters to be used in the game. And currently it's just using a random bool to determine if it's going to use Manny or Quinn essentially. So we're going to be expanding upon this and we'll just make another select and we'll hook it up like so. And instead of a bool here, we will choose to have a integer type and we'll make a random integer node and then we'll just, we could hook it up here. We want to have it as max two so that it can change between 0, 1, and 2, and 2 being our B imported character, of course, like so. So to make sure that this is actually working currently, we can just set this to 2 manually right now to see that everything is supposed to be chosen as that character, and we can see if it is working properly. So we'll just load into a map and see if it is working. So inside of the map now you can see we have the character, we can run around with our character, we can dash, we can jump, we can do everything. Everything is working just fine with the So that's working good. And now what we want to do is essentially just replace this node up here and now 
there should be an assortment of characters being either Manny, Quinn, or our character that we um, created ourselves for this. So in this case, we got to be Quinn, and there should be Manny is running around somewhere, and our character. And that is how simple it is to um, change the character in Lyra. Oh right, detail. Um, yes, random integer between 0 and max minus 1. So saying 2 here is going to be wrong. We want to have 3 uh, so that it can actually get to the second one. Having it as 2 will probably not allow us to load any uh, imported character in actually. So <laughs> make sure that you put it to the right number there so you have it properly uh, set. Let's see if it actually is... There we see one of the characters, all the imported characters. So yeah, um, that's important also. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.